Right, probably uh, time to be serious and show how to kind of do for a main hoop um, and what kind of tools and stuff are needed. You need an angle finder, about a tenner on eBay. Gone for a digital one on this. That'll give you your angles. Tape measure, whether you're working in inches, mil, centimetres or hand spans. Um, but I'd probably go with a tape measure. Uh, you'll want a pen of some description, a bit of paper, possibly some tape, and the cheetah bend, which I showed you kind of how to do in the previous video, which is going to be linked somewhere there. And if it ain't there, it's in the description. Um, the other thing is a bit of paper, which I've got to find now. I've got to get out of the race car to find my bit of paper. Right, so uh, show you basically how to measure for a rear hoop the very easy way. There's complicated ways of doing it. It's just the way I've chosen to do it. And it seems to work very easily. Minimum calculation, which is good for me. Um, so you want there's two things you need to know. You need to know all your lengths and you need to know your angles. Very, very simple cages is going to be. But I know myself, I'm going to have a straight bow across the top. I'm not putting the centre kind of kink in it. It's going to be a straight bar across the top and then obviously the legs are going to be vertical um, downwards. So it's vertical and horizontal. Um, so I know already that basically I've got to get 90 degrees between my bends. Um, already looking at it, I know I'm going to need four bends. So I need a bend here and a bend here and obviously a bend there and a bend there. Uh, and like I say, what I know is that from this point here to this point here, these two bends need equal 90 degrees. So it's dead simple. Um, in theory, I only need to know one angle and I've got all the kind of calculations for the rest of the cage on the angles alone. Um, so that'll be very, very simple. But first I'm gonna work out how much cage we need. Um, and the way of doing that is skip tape measure. Work out how much you need is by using the tape measure and pushing it into all the metal work. And I know that's going to be straight across the top. Get it near as straight as I can. And then back down and that's given me that measurement. So you need to drop your measurement down whether it be in inches or in centimetres. I've done my mil which is 3250. Uh, just jot that down, 3240. That's the length of the tube you're going to need um, to cut out because obviously it comes in like six meter lengths. Um, it will probably, by the time you put your bends in, it'll probably end up the legs will be longer than what you're doing. You'll need to trim down anyway. And additionally to that, you'll need to trim down even further because there's three mil plates you've got to weld onto the top of this, um, which are spreader plates if you're doing it to the regulations, <laughs> which I am. Um, well, I'm doing most of it to it, it's probably never going to be on the track. Um, so yeah, basically, that's kind of the, you've got the length, full length there. Another one that's handy, you don't necessarily need it, but it will give you an idea at the end, is you can do a measurement, an optional measurement from the bottom. Uh, and that'll kind of tell you the width that you need to go, I'm not going to bother with that one. So yeah, you know the top. Uh, you know the full length, so we know the length of the thing. The next thing to do is to work out the angles of your cage. Now, I've roughly got an idea what it, what it needs to be, uh, but I'll show you how to do it yourself. If you've got one of these, you need to zero it. So, zero it out like this, zeroed, and then work out roughly the angle that you want. Now, you could do with a better, longer one than this, um, ideally, but I'm going to be probably going for say an angle around that kind of angle, maybe a touch more. So about 71 degrees, I think that's about right. Allow me to get a gusset in, and then that works out about there. Yeah, so say I'm going to have 71 degrees there, and then obviously it's a 90 degree overall, so obviously. 90 minus the 70, uh, 71 is going to be 19 degrees. So I know that this angle here is going to be 19. 
double check it by getting 19 on your gauge angle finder shall I say it's about 19 uh, I see if it looks about right which it does so yeah probably happy with 71 now because I know that angle there obviously I can by calculating I know that angle and then because the car you should in theory be able to split completely down the middle it should be a mirror image I know obviously that one's going to be 71 degrees and that lower one's going to be 19 so I'm going to pencil that in for what it is 71 19 so we've got our angles easy super simple turn it off um, and then we can work out really easily with the cheetah bend which i've showed you in a previous video of working out the measurements before kind of the bend starts so what i mean by that is we've got the overall measurement of the whole tube but we need to know where on the tube to start the bends and this is where this cheetah bar comes in now obviously you'll see in the previous video i've got a cut on it uh, but i've also drawn like a piece of uh, pen round as well so i can see just to make it more clear in the videos, I'll redraw it because it's not that clear. Uh, right, so we know that from how the cheetah bar is made, that that is roughly where it starts before you do your bend. So we can work out the top distance because um, when you're bending, you're going to be working from the top outwards. So you want to get this roughly into a corner and obviously the bar is going to be straight across that way and then it's going to be less of an angle so for 71 degrees obviously it's a 90 71 is probably going to be like that um, so you get it to where you want and then where the marking is or where the cutout is on your cheetah bar if you stick a, a bit of pen on, on your, your car if you don't want to mark it just put a bit of tape that's what the optional tape is for is to put a bit of tape down and then draw on that that'll give you a line there and then you do exactly the same this way so into your corner, get it straight, just back off a little bit because obviously you're not coming down as a 90, you're coming down as a 70, what did I say it was, 71. So again, pen, this bit here, and we're going to measure across the two. So you know that your bend is going to start from the centre of the pipe, you'd have a centre marking. Um, you would use this calculation um to work out kind of your first straight in your in your bar and then you're bending away from that so the way you do that on your bar is get this calculation here which you've got which is 975 you just put that down on there right so we know now that that's 975 then you start both your bends obviously bends make it longer and you'll get down to here where you need another straight section so you can work that out roughly again by the same process as you know that's going to be roughly in the corner so what you can do is bring that down to where this part's straight and again do the same thing now i've marked this previously so mark it on there where your bend starts and then again where you think it's going to need your second bend to straighten out now obviously this is only a little bit of a bend here um, but I know kind of by the end of that point I want to be going down straight so again I've marked there take a measurement off of those two bits which is on mine there 42 it's 42 centimeters um, and then yeah the same it'll be the same on the other side so I know that the top bit now by looking at my plan and this is my plan Got the overall which is the big that is overall completely i've got the top measurement which is 975 be be between the two bends um, and i know that this point is going to be 42 i don't need to know what the bottom bit is going to be because i know i'm going to have enough tube for it and it's a case of just putting it against it marking it and cutting it once it's all done um, if i even need to <coughs> but likely to um, so yeah what you need to do now um, we know the angles we know the measurements we just need to mark this on a tube. So your 975 um, is going to be the first bar you're working on. And you know your overall uh, of the tube is 3250. So once you've cut the tube out, you mark the middle of that tube, which will then put you in the middle of this top tube. So hopefully you're with me at the minute. The middle of it when it's straight, 
is going to be the middle of that top tube. So what you want to do is if you then divide your 975 measurement or whatever measurement you've got by two, that will give you the distance between that very middle point and the first point, first start of both ends. So you, you half this number here, and then you, you put that distance from the centre there to there, and again the other half of that number of centre to there, draw on your tube and that will give you your start points of both ends. So then you can bend all the way around. Then once you've done your first one, which is 71 degrees in my case, at the end of the tube, which you can then mark on the bender, you then have the next measurement, which is 42. So you measure a straight with a pipe, 42, mark it again, mark it again. And then that's a start point again, reference point into your bender to do your last bend, which is 19 degrees. And then you straight, you straight. So that is simple. That is me then, I've bent a full hoop for the back. Um, and then it's a case of, yeah, like I say, just trim it down, put some spreader plates on and should be job so good. Um, if there's any questions, because although I've made it dead simple, I may have overcomplicated it for some people, which is fine. Um, just drop me a comment at the bottom and I'll do my best to kind of get back to you soon as and answer it. Um, if not, hopefully the rest of the video is going to help you. I'm going to document the whole cage on this, um, including like harness bars and everything. So I'm going to crack on and get this bent. And fingers crossed it fits. It will fit. Do you see the... I'm working from the middle, so this is the very, very top, top part. And I want to be bending from that point that way outwards, 71 degrees. And again, from that point outwards, 71 degrees. Um, so it's a case of clean the pipe up, chuck it in the bender, start bending. Right, so on to the kind of final tweaks now. These are the last uh, basically bends and that's basically to make this top section back, eventually back round to 90 both sides, which gives me 180 degrees all the way around. Um, so the angle that this was done, it was a case of bending it and then where it finished once I got to my correct degrees that I'd measured previously, um, I needed a reference point on here, which I then used the follower for. Um, and just draw, drew a little line. What that then enabled me to do was go from the end of the bend. So obviously we've got a reference point from the start, bent it, and then I needed a different reference point for the end. From the end of the bend, I could then measure from there to where the next bend should start. So that would have marked it here. And do exactly the same on either side, so that you've got exactly the same reference point. If you're unsure, you could put a straight across, and you can measure from the straight to the top, and just make sure that you haven't kind of started one of your bends further down. It's another way of doing it. Dead simple. Dead, dead simple. Um, so yeah, it's a case of now just levelling this back out. Whichever way it needs twisting. Um, and cracking on with a 19 degree bend there. Take it out and do a new other one. And then hopefully we're at the point of chucking it in.
Right, moment of truth. Is it or is it not going to fit? That doesn't help, it's all covered in uh, white lithium grease. That is what that is. I've not got overexcited by doing this. <laughs> so everything's dead slippy. Hopefully, I mean, I'm expecting it to be a bit too long and not fixed. I've not trimmed the legs down yet. Um, that sort of fits. Yeah, so it's going to obviously need it trimming down. Um, but at this stage, you can see, <coughs> excuse me, you can see we've got good, uh, good angles of clearance. Uh, I think one side slightly longer than the other, but yeah, I've not got down to trim the legs yet. So it's a case of trying to hold it, mark where you need to, and then just cut it off with a grinder or a chop saw. The other thing, again, as I mentioned earlier, is it's got to go onto three mil spreader plates. Uh, so take that in considera uh, into consideration as well. You're gonna have to take an extra three mil off. Um, but yeah, happy with that. I mean, for a loose first fit, I am going to need to leave that. It's going to sit further back. By the time it's dropped, I can get it further back. Um, yeah, buzzing. That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty darn good, even if I do say so myself. Which I do, so. Uh, well, I'll show you how to do kind of the harness bars, roof bar, all the other stuff uh, in the next video. So hopefully see you there.